Let's hop on over to the San Diego Animal Sanctuary and Farm in Alpine, but let's put it here in studio. But for Easter, for April 6th through the 9th, you are going to be seeing a lot of some really fun things to be going on. So I want to bring in Agnes here, uh, executive director. And Agnes, we can't ignore uh, someone who's having a very good hair day, if, if you will. <laughs> uh, introduce us to your friend here. Who, had, who do we have? This is Praline. Praline has been um, with the sanctuary uh, about uh, five years ago. She had a broken leg, so that's why she's uh, standing like this. Oh, okay. And, uh, but she's the softest bunny. Um, that you can have. It's very velvety. You can yeah, try. I was just going to say when, when I when I first kind of met Praline here, uh, the color, the name, perfect. And then I was like, wow, almost feels like uh, silk. Yes. Like it's such a mm -hmm. soft coat. Uh, and, and what type of bunny is Praline? It's a mini Rex. Okay. And how many uh, different types of bunnies do you guys have at the sanctuary? Oh my gosh, we have uh, lion, uh, lion's head, we have a regular American bunny, we have uh, Orlen Lop bunny, the bunnies with the uh, long ears. Okay. Um, and then the mini Rex. And I think so many people are kind of just think there's just one bunny, right? But there's a <laughs> variety of oh them. Oh yes, you have like, uh, I don't know, like 25 different oh uh, breeds gosh. of bunnies. Um, so we have a few uh, at the sanctuary. We have a room dedicated for them and uh, we actually just moved them and uh, now people can go inside the room. Uh, we have a couch, they can uh, sit on the couch and then yeah. we can let the bunnies uh, out with them. So it's, uh, it's a really good experience. And so tell us about the sanctuary. Uh, what some of the work that you guys are doing all the way up in Alpine? Well, we have uh, about 220 animals. Uh, from the uh, the guinea pig and the baby horses, that would be the smallest one, to okay. the bison or the camel, that would be the biggest one. And uh, we have horses, uh, cows, llamas, alpacas, goats, uh, sheep, um, you name it. Yeah. And um, all the farm animals and some exotics. We have also zebras uh, and some ostriches. I, so I was just going to say, we're speaking about Easter, we're talking about eggs. A and right here, this is not a, uh, a, a bunny <laughs> egg, even though they are mammals. This is not the classic Easter egg, if you will. What is this that we have right here? This is an ostrich egg. Okay. It's a real one. Yeah. Um, ostrich eggs, um, they are the equivalent of 24 chicken eggs. Yes. And uh, so we can't break it. No. Uh, <laughs> I've also heard they're very hard to crack. They are hard to crack. Tool, I, right? Yes, we recommend people to use a, uh, a drill. Yeah. So then they can crack it really nicely and they can keep the shell. It's, it's kind of, wow. you can display it. And so for the Easter weekend, we know that a lot of people are going to be celebrating in a number of different ways. And of course, <laughs> we've got April, the very large bunny here, joining us as well too. What's going to be happening at the sanctuary this weekend? Well, starting Thursday uh, at 11 a.m. Uh, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we have an Easter egg hunt. Uh, at 11 a.m. and uh, we have a thousand eggs per day. Wow. And we actually are putting the eggs everywhere in the in the park. Mm -hmm. So it's not a rush. It's a very nice um, uh, very nice hunt because uh, the kids don't have to run and to get the eggs. They will always find their eggs. Take their and, time. Uh, take their time. Enjoy the animals. Enjoying the sunshine. Yeah, that's um, what we are going to be enjoying yeah. this weekend. Yeah. And so what would you say to a parent who's got maybe, who's again, got those kids at home about not just the Easter weekend celebrating that, but, but why come out to the sanctuary maybe even another weekend to learn about the animals, as you've said? Well, it's a very, uh, it's a healing place for the adults. Yeah. And uh, it's very quiet. Um, you always have uh, a time alone with the animals. You can feed the animals. And uh, it's, a, it's a very peaceful place. Yeah. So if you want to spend a day in nature, you can bring your picnic and enjoy the grounds. It's beautiful grounds with big oak trees, a lot of shades. And uh, Perfect. it's like, um, yeah, it's a very nice, it's not like um, just seeing the animals, it's everything else also. Awesome. Well, Agnes, thank you so much. And again, we have that information up on our website, cbs8.com. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it. Agnes Praline in April <laughs> behind the mask. Thank you.